Lush green countryside, acres of space and mild weather 365 days a year. If there'd been a golfer aboard the boat that first settled the Azores, he'd have been reaching for his club straight away. Yet those who've played here argue that these mid-Atlantic Portuguese islands, a four-hour flight from Britain, could be the best-kept golfing secret in Europe. One of those is former Olympic javelin thrower turned golf coach André Medeiros. The best reason for anybody in the world to come here to play golf is the environment around the island, the food, the people and the golf courses are amazing. San Miguel itself has got two courses, one for those of all capabilities, another for those a bit closer to scratch. This course in particular is a challenging course, it's one of the great courses you can get in Europe. The scores here for pros used to be a little bit higher than it used to be in other courses. Trees, water, everything can get with the great courses, you know. A round will cost you from 40 euros in San Miguel, even less on the island of Terceira. And as you'd expect, quality gear is for hire, which means no baggage allowance bills. I teach here all year long and I, I never stop teaching all year long. The temperature is always like 24, 25 degrees, 30 degrees in summer, 20 in the, in the winter. Always like that, you know, if you can, this is a perfect place to be here all year to train for pros or for amateurs. I have a lot of friends here, golf pros, come here and they say it's one of the best places to be in Earth. That's true, because you are on a small, small island with beautiful courses, beautiful views, different experience. I don't know why the people don't come more, but I think it's about knowing the place. If you get to know the place, you come here one time, you come here all your life. So does Andre miss anything about his Olympian past? Well, those days training with a young Jessica Ennis bring back some memories. She was really a lovely girl uh, training javelin. We are javelin throw, and then all the coaches combined with the javelin coaches too. And she wasn't that good in javelin. She was a lot better in hurls and things like that. But javelin, she struggled a lot. It was fun to see uh, growing up in javelin. It's a, it's a fun story. <laughs> Well, when golf becomes an Olympic event in 2016, this would be a fine place for the athletes to tune up.